Well, this year in Oklahoma, we saw our first teacher strike since the 90s, and the overwhelming theme among educators is that teachers are fleeing the state. Sure. They're going elsewhere. Students that are getting their degrees are, are leaving Oklahoma to teach in other cities and other states. Uh, we have a, a question here from Lid, uh, Liddy who says, uh, what are your thoughts on keeping teachers here in Oklahoma? Okay, Mr. Hunter, we'll start with you. What do you think about how we can keep teachers here in Oklahoma? Well, uh, one of the most important things that we do in our office is we safeguard and provide security for, and we are the uh, caretaker, if you will, of the state's revenues in many different ways. For instance, our Medicaid fraud unit has recovered $10 million in monies that were expended inappropriately and illegally. Uh, we were able to avoid almost $2 million in annual charges for our corrections facilities because the FCC attempted to impose a requirement that we pay for long distance calls by inmates. So the best thing that I can do for teachers is to ensure that I am safeguarding and overseeing the revenue that's available to fund salaries for teachers. And that's, again, uh, getting into the policy how we do raises isn't our job. Mr. Drummond, do you see a place for the Attorney General to help with this? Oh, absolutely. And I find it curious Mr. Hunter didn't answer the question. And so the question really stems back to the failed leadership of the Attorney General's office. In May of 2017, when the legislators, legislators passed a law that said an education tax is really a fee and had the opportunity, I believe they asked informally Mr. Hunter, and he's denied that, but I've talked to him, I've said they've asked him. He could have stepped in at that point and asked the friendly legislator for an attorney general opinion and said, it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it is a duck. Our Supreme Court immediately, Democrats and Republicans, by nine to zero, overturned that. And that put us into this funding crisis that could have been stopped with Mr. Hunter. Then, once we have the funding crisis, we've gone through two special sessions, and the very backbone of our society, our teachers, who are profoundly important to every one of us, had to strike. And that is a travesty and a failure of leadership. Mr. Turner, we want to give you a chance to respond to that for about 20 seconds. The facts are that I consistently provided advice and counsel to the legislature uh, with regard to them calling something a fee, which was a tax. I told him that that was not going to be susceptible to a successful defense by our office. And there is, uh, specifically, the majority leader of the House is prepared to enter into an affidavit to that effect.